what's up guys welcome back to everything wedding thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video we are super excited to have you guys on the channel if you're watching and you're not yet subscribed you might want to consider subscribing to the channel it's totally free and also if you're watching the video and you've not given it a thumbs up you might want to consider giving the video a thumbs up because that helps to grow the channel you can also share this video with your loved ones because you never know who might need it and also leave me a comment in the comment section kindly let me know which gown for this particular video is your favorite and why so in today's video as we get to enjoy these stunning gowns you're also going to be giving you a few tips on how to save money on wedding invitations The truth that a few of us like to admit is that planning your dream day can be far from cheap especially if you let your budget run away from you. From caterers to decorations and flowers to your dress everything has a pretty little price tag and before you whip out that, uh, that checkbook you need to know how much each part of the celebration will cost. And of course, one of your first purchases is likely to be stationary so you can let your guests know when the big event is happening. Wedding invitations will be the first purchase uh, that those attending your wedding will get to see. There's a, a whole lot to think about here such as what design style suits your wedding and how much information you should include. But we're gonna start by talking about the cost. We'll have a look at how much wedding invitations tend to cost and importantly, how you can save yourself some cash. So we're gonna start off by discussing the average cost of wedding invitations. Your wedding invitations set the tone for the entire event. They are the first thing that your guests will see and will often give hints at the style and the theme of your wedding. Of course, they are also likely to be your first real expense. Couples spend an average of $590 on sending out wedding invitations ahead of getting married. However, how much they end up costing you can vary dramatically. The cost of wedding invitation can significantly range depending on whether you're going for, with a semi-custom where an existing design is selected and only minor customization to the text or materials are being made or if you're going fully custom where the artwork and all the elements of the stationery are custom made. So guys, here are the seven tips to save on wedding invitations. Are your purse strings tight? If you're looking for ways to cut back on the overall cost of your wedding, starting with your invitations is a savvy move. Since this type of stationery can define style, quality, and customization, there are so many ways to make yours more affordable, and here are the tips to save on them. So the first tip is to build a wedding website. Hoping to save some space, you might want to opt for a digital alternative by building a website of, of your wedding. You can easily direct your guests to the site to find out more information about the wedding plans and activities instead of having to list everything within the invitation suite. And also you have to know that using the website as a catch all for information is helpful in reducing the amount of information you need to print and in turn reducing the number of cards needed to be printed and that is the way that you can save your money having fewer cards enclosed with the invite will also 
help keep the postage rate down so you won't be paying additional postage rates for heavy envelopes. Another tip is to have your guest RSVP online aside from the wedding invitations. Many couples include an RSVP card and an envelope. Try foregoing this traditional tradition in favor of a free alternative. Ditching the traditional mail back RSVP card is a great way to make responding easy and convenient for your guest, but it is also a way you can save yourself from having to buy a first class stamp for every RSVP envelope. Another tip is to use the same company for everything. When you're searching for a stationer, it can oftentimes be more economical to use the same company for all your stationery needs. So ask if they are able to design and produce all of the stationery items that you need, including the save the dates, invites, and a day of stationery. Many stationers reward clients who order multiple pieces with their company by extending discounts, uh, package deals, or waiving service fee. Having to piecemeal your stationery items by using multiple can companies can not only be more to juggle logistically but can end up costing more in the end. So the last tip is to avoid paying for calligraphy. While calligraphy is a beautiful art form, not everyone has it in their budget to hire someone to meticulously hand calligraph their envelopes to prepare the invitations for mailing. mailing. Check with your stationer to see if they offer a more affordable addressing service. So guys, I just want to thank you so much for watching today's video. We're going to be able to continue on our next video. If you're watching and you're not yet subscribed, you might want to consider subscribing to the channel. It's totally free. Give the video a thumbs up and also share with your loved ones. And I hope that I'll be able to see you guys on the next video.